So in this video, we'll be going over what the IRS is saying about your third stimulus checks if you did not receive one already. But first folks, remember that I'm still doing an Amazon gift card giveaway. This upcoming Friday, I'll be announcing two winners of a free $100 Amazon gift card. And if you would like to enter this free Amazon gift card giveaway, then you just have to subscribe to my channel and share my videos with your friends and family because I'm sure they would like the most up-to-date, reliable stimulus check news and the latest news surrounding your SI, SDI payments, and also Direct Express news. So yeah guys, the winners will be announced this Friday. Now according to the IRS website, they say right here that they're now sending the 2021 economic impact payments. They want you to check when and how your payment was sent via the Get My Payment tool. The first batch of payments will be sent by direct deposit, which some people start receiving as early as March 12th. Now folks, additional batches of payments will be sent in the coming weeks by direct deposit and through the mail as a check or debit card. Now it says on the IRS website that you'll see one of these messages when you use your Get My Payment tool. The first is a payment has been processed. Now when they show your payment status, it means that a payment has been processed, a payment date is available, and payment is to be sent either by direct deposit or mail. Now if your stimulus checks are being sent in the mail, that means you may be issued an EIP card or a paper check. Now it could also mean that you're eligible, but a payment has not been processed and a payment date is not yet available. In addition guys, when it says payment status not available, the IRS means that they haven't processed your payments or that you're not eligible for a stimulus check. Now I also know that many of you guys are looking for some news on Direct Express. So here it is. According to the Direct Express website, they say that the IRS Economic Impact Payment Center is the best resource for the latest information in regards to stimulus checks. And they continue to say that the IRS will send additional batches of payments in, this, in the coming weeks. And they also have a Q&A page right here where it says, what happens if you recently close your Direct Express card account? And it says here that if an economic impact payment is sent to an account that is closed or no longer active, then the payment will be returned and the IRS will then reissue the payment. Cardholders will also receive one free ATM withdrawal for the third economic impact payment deposit. This in addition to a free withdrawal for each benefit payment that the cardholder receives. And also folks, only current cardholders are eligible to receive this third round of stimulus checks. And all federal benefits, whether that be from Social Security, SSDI, or SSI, will continue to be made on time. Cardholders on Direct Express will receive the regular benefit payment to the Direct Express card account on the regular payment date. Now the IRS clearly states that EIP cards issued for the first economic impact payments are independent of VIP cards issued for the second round of stimulus checks. Some people who received the debit card last time may receive a paper check this time for the third round of papers for the third round of $1,400 stimulus checks. And some people who received the paper check last time might receive a debit card this time. And the form of payment for a second stimulus check compared to a third stimulus payment may possibly be different. In regards to the latest news on the fourth stimulus check, According to Politico, some Democratic members of Congress do not feel that a third stimulus check is enough. Two months before the new relief package was signed, 50 Democratic members of the House sent a letter asking Joe Biden to prioritize recurring direct checks. Recurring direct checks instead of a one-time stimulus payment. Our politicians in Congress said that another one-time round of stimulus checks would provide a temporary lifeline. But when that money runs out, families will once again struggle to pay for basic necessities. One more check is not enough during this public health and economic crisis. So it is possible guys that a fourth round of stimulus checks or recurring payments could be set up in the future. Now for the latest news on the $200 social security benefits, well according to the social security administration, the president is proposing to automatically adjust the amount based on any annual increases in the national average wage index. This increase will be from $200 to $530, which is the minimum amount of monthly earnings for a month to count during a trial work period for individuals who are social security beneficiaries and work. The president also wants to increase the maximum monthly earned income exclusion for students to receive SSI from $400 to $1,290 and the yearly exclusion from $1,620 to $5,200. Now it also says on the SSA's website that if people receiving SSI are under age 22, not married or head of household, the SSA does not count up to $400 of earned income per month when figuring the SSI payment amounts. And just so you guys know, SSI is a federal program that makes monthly payments to disabled people who have limited income and resources. The American Rescue Plan is something every Democrat is obviously very, very proud of. We all came together and we got it done. And there's so much here for us to talk about. President Biden, Vice President Harris, members of the Biden cabinet are barnstorming the country to tout what's in the bill. Democrats kept our promise and were delivering real help to working Americans. Something not even talked about, the pensions. L uh, last week, 
a gentleman, construction worker, depending on his pension, actually a teamster, but he works in construction, depending on his pension, was teary-eyed. He said, if my pension goes down, if not, I don't mind that it hurts me. It hurts my spouse, my wife, my children, my parents. They're all depending on me. Please save it. We've saved. We've saved. So, we're doing our job, as promised. When we got into office, when we became the majority, everyone said, how are they going to get it all done? you got to confirm the cabinet. you got to try do an impeachment trial and pass AARP. Well, we have done an impeachment trial. We passed AARP. And with the nomination of Mr. Walsh, every cabinet secretary will have been installed, all 16. So we've kept our promise. And so many other good things. Native Americans have far too long been neglected at the cabinet level. Now there's a strong voice in Deb Holland. Now they have a seat at the table. Small business needs money, is Isabel Guzman is con being confirmed as small business administrator. We have to have a much tougher, stronger policy against China. Catherine Tai will be confirmed as trade rep. And on Thursday, we'll confirm Javier Becerra to be HHS secretary. And the House will send us a bipartisan bill on PPP. We Senate Democrats support it unanimously. We want it to move as quickly as possible. I just hope our Senate Republican friends will agree to pass the PPP extension without delay so that small businesses that need our help won't fall through the cracks. Senator Durbin. Let me put my mask back on. And Senator Durbin, with or without mask, as of his duty. Sans mask, as we say, and we all know. As they say in Chicago. Twelve years ago, you remember when Mitch McConnell pronounced the beginning of the Obama administration the one-term presidency and then set out to deny any Republican votes for anything Obama wanted. It went on and on and on for months and even years. It was frustrating to be a senator, even worse to be an American looking to the Senate for results. So what plan do the Republicans have in this round? It appears it's the same McConnell playbook. We are not going to play. We are not going to participate. And look what happened. We passed the American Rescue Plan without him. And the American people now get a look at what Mitch McConnell and his Senate Republicans refuse to support. It addresses the most fundamental concerns families have across America. Now that's all the news in this video. If you guys found this video so helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and give this video a like. Until next time everybody, have a great day and stay safe.